going to adjust the post down area. For me, I'm going to use the flame with the hot wax knife and remove anything on the tuberosity. Nothing should be extending on the tuberosity. Okay, moving it away from the tuberosity. I'm smoothing out any sharp edges that were created while working. Okay. I make sure that the material that went down in the borders here are removed. Why? Because these prevent the seating, the vertical seating of the material. Okay. So I'm removing the green stick from these areas. And now I'm ready to do the post down medium. So how am I going to add the post down medium? I begin by warming this up. And I'm going to do the butterfly shape. The butterfly shape extends in this area, which is the hard pellet area. Okay? So I'm adding this material amount. Okay. I'm heating the material and adding to this area as well. I'm not adding to the middle because this is an area of relief. I'm using a warm water, I'm extending it to the hard pellet. It should not touch the soft pellet. Okay, this is a must. It should not go into, sorry, it should not touch the tuberosity. It should not go to the tuberosity. The slope of the tuberosity should be free of material. Okay, <coughs> so once more, I'm extending these areas. By the way, it's not stinking because I have wax here. And I told you that we don't prefer this wax in the uh, primary support area. Okay, so I added the material in. I'm going to heat it until it's warm enough. Okay, warm. Let's see with my finger, is it moving? Is it moving enough? And once it's warm enough, I'm going to compress it inside the patient's mouth. Okay. So inside the patient's mouth, I'm compressing now vertically in the palatal area. I'm placing my fingers and pressing in the palatal area. Okay. And I'm hearing the section created. I have now anterior retention, I have lateral retention, and I have posterior retention. Okay, it's not easily coming out. So if I put the section in, I'll get resistance posteriorly. Okay. How do to, uh, remove it? I just let air ingress from the sides and it comes out. So see how it became flat? Okay, this will ensure that we have a good post palatal seal area compression because these tissue are compressible because they are glandular. Okay?